hi guys hey girl hey welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl diamond the creator here if you are new don't forget to like comment and subscribe because today we are bringing you a green ivy look for the gods okay first things first we're gonna start off with concealing and i am starting off by using my juvia's place concealer in the number 10. I'm now going to go ahead and just blend, blend, blend that out on my chin as well as on my lid. Up underneath my brow, I'm going to drag the concealer down so that I can have a nice base to start with before we start putting on eyeshadow. Now that she's all blended in, I'm gonna go back in with that same color concealer in the number 10 and go up underneath my eyes so that I can bring up more brightness to my under eye and to my overall face. Once we put the concealer down, I do wanna go ahead and just fan it a little bit so that I can set up nicely so that when I do blend it out, it's more concentrated in the area that I put it in. And we're just gonna blend and blend that out and try to take it more towards my hairline so that everything can look more seamless. Now you already know, after we blend, we gotta go ahead and set sis. So we're gonna take my airspun setting powder and we're gonna put that up underneath our eye. And we're also gonna take whatever's left over on our, our beauty blender and we're just gonna put that on our eyelid so that I can further set a nice base for the colors that we're gonna be using today. Now that we have a nice base down for our eyeshadow, of course we're gonna go back in with my favorite palette right now. I'm super obsessed with this Mrs. Claus palette by BH Cosmetics. And we're gonna take a fluffy angled brush and go in with Spiked Cocoa as our transition color. I'm gonna go ahead into our next color, which is gonna be our main crease color. And it's a green, beautiful emerald color. It's called the Grinch, a very fitting. And she is definitely slaying. When I first swatched this color, I was in shock. This palette really has some beautiful, very pigmented eyeshadows in it. Now that we have that green base down, I'm just gonna start going back and forth between the brush that I use for Spiked Cocoa and the brush that I use for the Grinch color, and I'm gonna make sure they're nice and blended. Here's my favorite part. We're gonna do a cut crease. I'm not gonna stop doing cut creases until I perfect it, okay? I am determined, oh <laughs> well. But I'm gonna take this very tiny brush. I don't remember who this is by, but I love this brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease um, and I'm gonna try and make them as symmetrical as I can on each side, but you know what? It's okay if they're not because they can be sisters, not twins. I 
while I was doing my cut crease, I closed all of my rings on my Apple Watch. So, woo, woo, celebrate moment for me. Ay. Now I'm gonna take this small brush and I'm gonna go into the color Tinsel in this palette. And it's a beautiful, like, frosty green. Oh my gosh, like, this brush really was not doing it justice. So I did have to switch out the brushes for a more fluffier one. But y'all, this color is everything. While I was putting that color on my lid, a lot of it did fall out onto my concealer, but that's okay. We're definitely gonna go back and fix that later. But in the meantime, in between time, we are gonna go back into Spiked Cocoa and try to define the lines that we just made with the tinsel shade. Now that we've defined that line a little bit more, we're gonna go back into the Grinch color and just try to continue to blend that out. I'm gonna be doing this a lot throughout the video just to make sure that everything is as seamless as I can get it. No limit, baby. Get that black car. No limit. Just know when you roll with a nigga like me, there's no limit, baby. No limit. I see murder, murder there. No limit. Now that we have blended for our lives and defined our outer corners, we're gonna go ahead and move on to brows. I'm just gonna take this NYX brow gel that I've, I've had this for such a long time. I honestly just rediscovered it, brand new. But yeah, it's been getting the job done. <laughs> After we put that brow gel on, I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in the color Ebony. And I'm just gonna try to get a nice general shape for my brows. And then later we're gonna go back in with my Juvia's Place Concealer to just tighten them up and make sure that I get them defined in the shape that I want them. Concealer that we're using is the number 10, but it's whatever is left on the back of my hand from when we cut our crease earlier. And we're gonna be using that same tiny brush that I used earlier as well. Now that we have our brows sculpted out, we're going to take a slightly fluffier brush, but still small, and drag down the concealer from our brow line so that it can blend in 
with the eyeshadow that we put down. Now I know it's gonna look a little bit crazy right now, but we are gonna go back in with the same brush that we use with our transition colors so that we can blend it out more. To set the rest of our face, we're gonna go in with our L'Oreal True Match Powder and this is in the color Coco. Everything is looking flawless and seamless. So now we're gonna go over to bronzing and we're gonna take my favorite bronzer of all time, which is the Hula Beauty Bronzer by Benefit and this is the shade Toasted. to fix where all of that eyeshadow fell down so I still have concealer left on the back of my hand I'm gonna take the remaining concealer and go right up underneath my eye to get rid of all of the shininess and green that's down there so that everything can go back to looking matte and bright and seamless After we put down the rest of that concealer, I'm just gonna go ahead in with my Beauty Blender and the blend, blend, blend that out so that everything can start to look more uniform again. Once I'm done blending the Juvia's Place concealer out, I am gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and this is in the color 475 Tan Deep Sand to brighten up my under eye even more. We are nice and blended out with both of those concealers. I'm gonna go in with my Airs Blend Powder and just set everything. And of course, no look would be complete without more bronzing. So we're gonna go ahead and snatch up this nose, girl. contour would just would not be right without a highlight let's be real <laughs> and I'm pretty sure y'all are sick of me talking about this wet and wild highlighter that I got recently but girl it just keeps serving okay but this isn't the color I'm so lit if y'all did want to go check it out
done placing that highlighter in the inner corners of my eyes above my lip on my nose we're gonna go ahead and do up underneath my brow now this color did come out super duper concentrated on my brow which i do like but i also like for it to be blended so i'm gonna go in with a fluffier brush so that i can go ahead and blend that out and y'all do not be afraid to use your fingers to blend out highlighter or wherever you're using because it really does just make it so much easier Because I feel like this highlighter kind of took a little bit of my color away from my face, I went back in with the bronzer that I used earlier in the video so that I can warm up my face up again. After bronzing, I'm going to go in with my favorite blush by MAC and this is in the color Rosy Does It. <laughs> We're gonna jump right back into eyes with my crayon box palette and we're gonna take the color dark brown and black and make the illusion of eyeliner on my eye. I didn't want to wear actual eyeliners, I just wanted to define my lash line a little bit more. And I'm also gonna take this color on my bottom lash line so I can define my lash line on the bottom as well so that when we do put on our lashes, it just gives a more dramatic look. that I'm going to be using today is by a company called Lashington and it's their magic collection. I got these lashes from the beauty supply store. They're like sectional lashes and this is definitely my first time using sectional lashes. Usually if I am going to do like a sectional lash look, I'll just cut up some strip lashes that I already got but I said what the heck, let's try it. So that we can get these lashes on quickly and efficiently, I am turning to my good sis duo lash glue and this is the one with the brush adhesive. This one dries clear and it dries in like 2.5 seconds. Absolutely love this lash glue. Now y'all, put it on these lashes, I'm not gonna lie, definitely was a struggle for me. Like the outer corners were piece of cake, the inner corners whole cake, oh my goodness. So I did put on the lashes on one of my eyes on camera and I had to do the other one off camera. But you know what, I'm gonna keep practicing with these little babies and I'm gonna be a pro, y'all just watch. I'm so 
lashes are secure. So now I'm going to take my Better Than Sex mascara and just use any random back of the brush so that you can combine your real lashes with the falsies so that it looks more seamless. Y'all, I accidentally got some mascara on my beautiful eyeshadow, but that's okay. I just took a little pad that I had with some leftover alcohol on it from when I installed this wig. Video will be up on my channel. And I wiped it off gently, and then I went back in with the fluffy brush that we used to apply the eyeshadow and went right over the top. For my waterline, I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay eyeliner pencil and this is a waterproof eyeliner pencil that I got from them. It's in the color Empire. It's like a holographic color. It's really hard to explain because on camera it literally just comes up like dark blue. But it's holographic and it has like hues of green and blue and purple in it. It's so cool and it's so beautiful. Y'all should check it out. I did my lip liner off camera, but y'all already know I'm going in with my Buxom lip gloss. I love this lip gloss so much. I usually use Hot Toddy, but honestly, this was like the second one that I got. And I was like, you know what? She be hitting every time I use her. So this is my favorite lip combo. If you want more details, it will be in the description. I also have a short that shows you guys exactly how I do it. All right, so boom, I put my beauty marks in place, got my hair and put it on my shoulders and this is the finished look. I hope y'all really enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And girly, I'll see you next time. When he tell the story, that's not